we have a new plasma table at work and I've been messing around with feed rates to see what effect that actually has on the cuts. So what I have here, these are all cut out of 5 16 or 8 millimeter plate and I messed around with only the feed rate. They were all cut at 130 amps. Uh, this is effectively 100% of the feed for this particular size of plate, so 60 inches per minute. Um, and then I dropped it down by 5% each time. So this is uh, 57 inches a minute or 95% of that. And I went all the way down to 70%. You can see a little bit of difference in cut quality. So this is the 100% and you know, you get a little bit of this uh, swoop with it uh, where the plasma kind of drags a little and that becomes more pronounced actually as you go slower. You get more of a curve to the cut. But what also happens is the cut gets squarer. As you can see on this one, hopefully anyway, you can see there's actually quite a bit of draft to the cut. and even knocking it down 10% actually uh, cuts down on the amount of draft, which is pretty nice. It, it's a much squarer cut. Um, slowing down the feed rate does affect the dimensional accuracy a little bit, but actually it improves it. Um, with all this draft, uh, this is about 10 thousandths oversized on the bottom but it's about 40 thousandths undersized on the top with that angle. Whereas way down here, it's actually pretty steady. Uh, we've got about a 10 to 15 thousandths of an inch range on the, uh, the cut. Now you can see this one's hanging out a little bit. It's got a lot more dross right here, which is uh, causing it to sit up at a bit of an angle. Uh, that is only because it was on one of the slats of the table. So when it cut through, it also cut into the slat and it gave it a little bit more slag back there. This is actually typical and the feed rate really didn't seem to have much of an effect on the cut, uh, the backside anyway. Um, I suppose there's a little bit less on the 100% feed rate. But this all chips off very, very easily, either with a chipping hammer or if you were going to cut a lot of things on a plasma table. I actually had great luck using a needle scaler. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, it's basically a bunch of little needles and a gun that reciprocate back and forth. And think about having maybe two dozen tiny little fists just punching the crap out of everything and it chips all that slag right off. Uh, it's pretty, pretty handy. It is quite loud though. Thanks for watching everyone, see you next time.